Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for the month of August. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, this is a message from my guides for you, okay? So this isn't just based on the cards. This is a message from my guides. Um, keep in mind that the timing is fluid, which means that the day that you watch it, it might not resonate. These are a preview, okay? It's a preview. So let's just see what comes up for Cancer. What do we got for Cancer? I guess we're going to start right here. What do we have for Cancer for the month of August? We got to take them both. We do. We really do. What do we got for Cancer? Well, we got the Nine of Swords right off the bat. It's funny because I was just looking at this. I was just looking at the Nine of Swords, not in this deck. Just looking at it. And then you guys were first for today, no matter what. I had you in my mind and I was doing you first. You're my first reading of the day. So this is a card of angst. This is a card of burden. Um, you may be even having nightmares. Unfounded fear. Focusing on worst case scenarios. Allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the problem. So, you guys are very uh, worried about something. You, you, may not, you may not be sleeping very well because of your worry. You know, when I, get, when I see this like this, I feel like there's something that you guys... You're depressed about something that you can fix. You know, you can fix this in some way. Ace of Swords by speaking up. This is, the, this is the Ace of Swords. This is the Sword of Truth. The Sword of Communication. Don't be deterred by challenges along the way. It's important to communicate clearly and accurately. Amazing new ideas that should be implemented. And I knew it. I didn't, I didn't know what this card was. It was sitting down here. I hadn't looked at it. Whatever it is that you are worried about, that you are stressing over, you can fix it. This is also the sort of power. But it's going to take you opening your mouth. You can't keep hiding your feelings. And you have to be honest. And not only with other people, but with yourself. So I feel like you guys are, you know, you're having a really hard time sleep, sleeping because you're worried about something. You're thinking about something nonstop, nonstop. And this worry is growing out of proportion because you have to do something about it. And that means speak up. So my advice during this month is if you are losing sleep and you, and you can't sleep and something is plaguing you, it's bugging you. Every night when you go to bed, that's the first thing on your mind. That's what you need to deal with. You need to deal with it. The only way that this is going to go away is for you to do deal with it. Whatever it is, you can't just escape from it. What do we have for cancer? What do we have for cancer? One card. Thank you. Two cards. Three cards. Well, we got to take them all, right? We do. Flow. This is the card. This is the Wheel of Fortune. Stop clinging to control. Whatever is meant to be is meant to be. It's almost like you guys are trying to fight destiny in some way. That's what I feel. You know, there's a, this, is, this is fate. This is the Wheel of Fate. It's the Wheel of Fortune. This is something good that is coming into your life, but you have to spin that wheel. Again, it's like, it's like the price is right. Spin the wheel. Eight of Swords, helpless and hopeless, being contained. You're in a state of confinement. You are confining yourself. Nobody's confining you. You can escape from it. The Eight of Swords, you can. You have the means to come out of this mental 
anguish that you're in. But you're going to have to do it. Nobody's going to do it for you. I feel like you guys, there's an obstacle in your in the way of your good fortune, of your of good things coming into your life. It's like you're not taking the steps that you need to take. This is the Four of Pentacles. This says open up. You know, the Four of Pentacles is about not giving to a situation, holding in. This is resisting change, resistance. You're be, you, you are resisting and confining yourself to a situation that probably isn't meant to be trying, clinging to control when you have an opportunity to bring something very fortunate into your life, but you have to take that step. You have to spin that wheel. Whatever is happening is bringing you closer to your life purpose, but if you try to control it and fight it, then you're going to continue to confine yourself from all those good things that the universe is trying to bring you. So, you know, I feel like it is time of, it's a time, this is destined. It's destined to change, of course. But you have, this is a card of free will. To get this, the good things, you have to spin the wheel. You have to, you have to do it. You actually have to do it. So Cancer, this is, this is one chapter ending and a new chapter beginning. Whatever is meant to be is meant to be. Don't fight it. And I think you know what is meant to be. I do. I, I really do. And I think that's why you're losing sleep and that's why you're stressing so much. Because you're fighting it. What do we have for cancer in regards to love? You need to stop resisting change, cancer. This resistance is causing you too much stress. It's not worth it. Allow what is meant to be to be. It's not about proving yourself anymore. It's about happiness. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. So, you know, maybe, maybe this is what this is all about. It's about your love life. And it's about commitment. Maybe somebody's afraid of commitment. Could be you. Could be the person that you're dealing with. Cancer. What do we have for Cancer in the month of August? Destined change, of course. It's time to commit yourself. It's time to commit yourself to allowing whatever is meant to be to be. Stop pushing whoever this person is away. It's like you're confining yourself. Three of Wands. Getting prepared. Ooh, forward movement. Fast forward. This is action being taken. Messages coming back and forth. Maybe waiting. Somebody's been waiting for some messages and perhaps they're going to start coming. They're, there's going to there's gonna start being some sort of communication going back and forth. Somebody's been, been avoiding challenge with the Nine of Wands reversed. Avoiding this challenge. There is a challenge here. There's no doubt. Avoiding communicating. Getting prepared, but not really doing so. Three of Cups. There could have been a person that was in the way. Could have been a third party situation here that has caused somebody to not communicate. There's been a lack of happiness. And right now it's like still not communicating. This is right around the corner. So at the beginning of the month, I still see somebody not really communicating, avoiding, you know, reunion or avoiding 
Now let's get the rest of these. Ooh, a soulmate connection. Oh, that's what this is. We got somebody that is avoiding happiness. It's like not seeing the light, but I feel like there's a soulmate connection here that is kind of like being thrown away. It's being thrown away. I'm being honest with you here. This is both people are more focused on everything but love. Um, there's instability. There's insecurities here. There is. We got, we got both people here that are not really invested. Two people that are not really invested in each other. They're more invested in everything but love. And it's like there's a desire for happiness, for something more vibrant. But nobody is taking any action. They aren't. But this is... This is communication. So let's see what we got. Juggling. Working hard. We got somebody here that's working, 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 burying themselves in the work in August. Juggling. Adapting. Needing to make a decision. Needing to make a choice. What's more important to you? Money? Is that the most important thing to you? Where's the love here? Because I haven't seen it yet. I'd like to see it. Can somebody point it out to me? Where is it? At this point, it's all about money. Money, money, money. That's what it's about. It's about money. So, it looks as though we... There's, there's some sort of disconnection in a relationship... Because money is more important than love. Whether this is with you or the other person. So, there could be a breakup. I'm just being honest with you. Somebody may be deciding that they don't need to hang on to this, hang on to this anymore. There's a disconnection. There's no real working together here. There's a lack of happiness. And happiness is desired. It's, this is your hopes and fears position. I want happiness. Extreme happiness. So yeah, I want happiness, but I have too much work to do. So therefore, there's a relationship that is going south very, 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 very fast. Somebody may be uh, playing games. You could be dealing with a player as well. You could be involved in a third party situation. There's somebody could be looking outside of the relationship to get their, you know, desires met because, you know, the other person is too focused on money, too focused on their job, comes home deadbeat, tired, can't do anything, just tired. All they do is work, 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 got to go to bed. Get up in the morning and do it again. So it feels as though we have somebody here that is hoping and praying that things will change. But they're not changing because somebody isn't really focused on the relationship. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just being honest with you. Um, so right around the corner, there could be... You know, this could be the end of a relationship. This is right around the corner. Because, you know, there's no happiness there. And I want happiness. So we have somebody here that's just, you know, working really, 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 really hard on their, on their job. You know, and they're not really giving the right amount of time to the relationship. I know I'm repeating myself. Yes, I am. Eight of Cups. Somebody's thinking about leaving. Somebody is probably going to leave. It's time, it's time to change. I'm not the same person I used to be. I'm looking for more balance and harmony and happiness in my life. I think that we have somebody here that hasn't been able to balance out their affairs. There probably is an affair here even. There could have been an affair. I feel as though... Uh, 
Somebody may have been testing the waters with somebody else and they may be deciding or thinking about leaving to go towards that other person. I'm just being honest with you. Because, you know, there's nothing, there's no uh, stability here. There's, there's no stability. There's no security. It's, it's not realistic. It's not practical to keep playing these games. There's too much darkness. You see how the, the light just went down? There's too much darkness here. I want light. I want, you know, it's like somebody decides that they want something more <laughs> vibrant. I want something more exciting. I want something more happy. So I, I really feel like there's a lack of wish fulfillment in the current relationship that you're in. I'm just, I'm being honest with you. And I feel like somebody has been testing the waters, maybe communicating with somebody else. Maybe even behind the scenes. And, you know, it looks as though there, like, there could be some sort of a loss of a relationship. I'm just being honest with you because there's a there's an opportunity to come together with somebody that you can you know jive with a little bit better. And I think this person has been dipping their toes in communicating with this other person, getting ready to make this move, getting prepared. I don't like to give this kind of message. I really don't. Um, in August, I feel like, I feel like we have somebody here that is about to take the next step and leave, leave a partnership that is no longer, you know, meant to be. It is what it is with the Wheel of Fortune. And it's like, I feel like there's somebody else that has burst in and striked their fancy, whether this is you or the other person. Somebody may be thinking about going back to their soulmate. They're really struggling, you know, thinking, you know, should I or shouldn't I? Should I, shouldn't I? Should I or shouldn't I? What should I do? So yeah, we got somebody here that is, is thinking about their soulmate and going back or who their soulmate is. So, Cancer, I feel as though this is a month that you should be prepared for some sort of communication that somebody is thinking about leaving. They may tell you that, or you may be the one that's thinking about leaving. There's, there's, a, there's I think there's a breakup here, and I'm just being completely honest with you. Both of these people that are in the current relationship are only in it for money. They're not, there is no love in these cards. None. So, be prepared for some fast forward movement. Very fast. I think that things are going to change very quickly. This is the Wheel of Fortune. It's destined change of course. It is. So, something is about to change for you. The time is now with the Temperance card. It's time to come together with whoever it is that makes you happy. And I don't think it's where you're at right now. I don't. I'm not going to pretend that it is there's a lack of wish fulfillment there it's like there's a it's like somebody is losing hope they're in a state of despair giving up and they've been thinking going back and forth about going back to somebody else and if you're with another person and you can't stop thinking about somebody else i suggest you do the right thing because not doing the right thing and hurting another person when you're not in love with them will bring you bad karma. It will bring you bad luck. So I feel like we have somebody here that is testing the waters with somebody else. And they're getting prepared to leave. And that is what I see. So in August, 
get prepared for some message to come or some communication to come through. This is going to be honest commu communication with the Ace of Swords. Somebody is about to receive some sort of honest, truthful communication. It may hurt that is going to push them in a new direction. And this has happened because there's just not enough attraction. There's an incompatibility here. It's just not meant to be. It is what it is. And somebody has been resisting it. So I feel like we have somebody here that is... Well, right here, this this is focusing on right now. Right now, somebody is thinking about which one do I want? Which one do I want? In the future, this is the future around the corner. This is the end of a relationship. So, yes, I feel like there is a relationship that is going to end. Because you need to come together with the one that makes you happy. So I think there is an opportunity for some sort of, even a reconciliation with somebody that really makes you happy. And I don't think it's the person you're with, and I'm being completely honest with you, and that is what I got for August. There could be a reconciliation with somebody that you are absolutely meant to be with. But I don't think it's the person that you're with. I don't. And that's the truth.